Good morning. So, getting back into John, and I realized, well, someone recently told me that I skipped a section of chapter 4, and they're right. I look back, and sure enough, I missed all of verses 27 to 42, and I read through it this morning, and there's a, there's a lot of interesting things going on there, but there's one really... I don't know, just one thing that stood out that I'll just briefly sh shed some light on, hopefully. So, here we go. Um, this was, this was, Jesus was talking with the Samaritan woman at the well after he had sent his guys into town to go get some food. And they had journeyed, I think it said they had journeyed all day. They were on a journey anyway, and so he was tired. He sat down near the well, and this woman was there from the town and he asked her for a drink and then she uh, he ended up offering her living water and she was confused about that and then he basically he admitted that he is the Messiah or admitted is probably not a good word he, he acknowledged that he is the Messiah and he told her um, about some things about herself that she was amazed that he knew um, and so here we go. Verse 27. Just then, his disciples returned and were surprised to find him talking with a woman. But no one asked, what do you want? Or why are you talking with her? Then, leaving her water jar, the woman went back to the town and said to the people, Come, see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? Then they came out of the town and made their way toward him. Meanwhile, his disciples urged him, Rabbi, eat something. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. Then his disciples said to each other, Could someone have brought him food? My food, Jesus said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Don't you have a saying? It's still four months until harvest. I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. Even now the one who reaps draws a wage and harvests a crop for eternal life so that the sower and the reaper may be glad together. Thus the saying, One sows and another reaps is true. I sent you to reap what you have not worked for. Others have done the hard work, and you have reaped the benefits of their labor. Many of the Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they urged him to stay with them, and he stayed two days. And because of his words, many more became believers. They said to the woman, We no longer believe just because of what you said. Now we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this man really is the Savior of the world. So that last, the last little exchange there when it's talking about the Samaritans, and saying that many Samaritans from the town believed in him because of the woman's testimony, he told me everything I ever did. It's interesting that that's... As followers of Jesus, we're called to be witnesses of him, to, to witness to his life and his death and his resurrection for us. And uh, in, a, in a way, this woman was witnessing what Jesus had told her. She was witnessing about him to the people in that town. And she even left her water jar there and, and went into town to get people to tell them, come see this guy. Um, and it's interesting, so they believed because of what she told them. And uh, God uses uses us to reach out to people or, or people to, to, to explain him to us. And we can believe um, because of how other people explain the gospel to us. We can, we can believe that truth. Uh, and then the it's the second part there says um, they, they wanted Jesus to stay with them, so he stayed. And because of his words, many more became believers. And then they said to the woman, your testimony isn't the only thing now that we have. We also have what he said to us. And so I think I, I, I see in my life, and, and I hear it from others, and I, you see it when you read 
God's Word, the Bible, that God develops that relationship with us. And when, as we get to know Jesus, we see realities in, in our world, like how He's working in our lives, because He says He will send His Spirit to live inside of us. And then there's fruit that we can learn about, fruit or growth that comes from the Spirit. So, anyway... Um, it's just, it's uh, encouraging to see that, like, yes, faith is absolutely essential to knowing Jesus, to knowing God, but uh, there is there is growth that comes from that, that reinforces that in, because of our relationship with Him. So, be encouraged in that today.